It might have been the day when Donald Trump's Washington finally slipped the limits of credulity. The administration's big guns Attorney General William Barr, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchen got a hostile reception on Capitol Hill from Democrats eager to pull back a presidency they see as out of control. Tuesday zipped by in a blur of grave constitutional tussles scented with the whiff of corruption. Surreal exchanges unfolded in Congress that left witnesses spluttering. There were superficial feuds over alternative facts. The bizarre sideshow encompassed climate denial, a spat about Adolf Hitler, one senator's meditation on Hollywood's molesting actors, and a schoolroom-style squabble between a top Democrat and Nutchen. The weird juxtaposition of the weighty and the frivolous seemed an apt metaphor for how Trump's presidency has torn age-old codes of political custom and behavior to shreds. In the odd new normal of the Trump era, several top cabinet officials found themselves answering questions about topics that would have seemed unthinkable in more conventional times. Barr faced a grilling over his conclusions about the most serious investigation into presidential conduct in years and a report by special counsel Robert Mueller that Americans have yet to read. Nutchen was beating back demands for the release of Trump's tax returns after the president bucked tradition and refused to share them with Americans. Both men left serious questions unanswered that offered ample evidence of the Trump administration's allergy to scrutiny, which is knotting up the political system. Their intransigence offered a reminder that while Democrats in the House now have the duty of oversight after the midterm elections, making effective use of their power is far from easy. For once, the president himself was not in the brightest spotlight. But Trump had his moments, saying that a visiting Arab dictator accused of arresting and torturing opponents was doing a great job and blaming former President Barack Obama for locking up kids in cages at the southern border. More than anything, though, a day of barely suppressed tensions, flaring mistrust and a disconnect between foes who barely share a common political language exemplified the effect the 45th president has had on the culture and character of Washington.